Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of The Streak, and we are entering our first risky run. Our first very risky run of The Streak. We have randomized as Judas, and I am, uh, it's an Excel floor as well, which isn't great. I am always a bit wary whenever we're Judas, because it just takes one big mistake, one small mistake even, to cock everything up. Because a single champion can insta-kill us. Or just two small bad mistakes. So, we've really got to play carefully as this guy, and make sure we don't fumble the bag. As long as we can get a soul heart early, then we're fine. But a room like this is particularly horrible. I'm just going to play this really safe, because there's a champion in here. Really slowly. Yeah, there you go. Sorted. We've got a bunch of red hearts on the floor, at least now, which is good for uh, keeping us alive. But yeah, as I said earlier, I'm on a bit of a record -a thon at the minute, so questions of the day aren't coming too quickly. Um, so, let's think of a good one. Hmm. <laughs> Who's, who's someone that you're really close to at the moment? Whether it be a friend or a family member or someone. Who's someone that you've recently, or not even recently, but someone that you're currently quite close to? And, and why is that? It'd be interesting to know. These little uh, jumper boys aren't too bad. I don't really want to get in the middle with them because uh kind of seems like hell. <laughs> but at the same time, we kind of need to to get some kills here. I think it's three shots to kill these guys. Yeah, that's not too bad. We do get the double item room right here, which is really nice. Charge key as well. Driftwood is pretty good. I like that. And Taurus is... Yeah, I don't know. Taurus is a weird one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the rest of the floor before I decide on Taurus, because I don't think it's strictly a bad item. I think it has some good qualities. The problem with it is... With with low speed, like base speed attacking attaching to it, it's not super valuable. It's really not. Take out the big threats first. Then all the little guys. Luckily Driftwood took care of one of those guys for us. I think Driftwood's kinda like Daddy Longlegs in terms of very nice. It's kinda like Daddy Longlegs in terms of how often it attacks. Lovely. And we'll uh, destroy all of these now that the room's over. See if we can get petrified poop. Should be able to get out of all of these, right, you think? Maybe not. Wow. Maybe not. Just a, a lot of extra red hearts lying around, I guess. But yeah, Driftwood seems to attack on, the, on about the same pace as Daddy Longleg, which is kind of nice. But yeah, well, I'm on a bit of a record thought at the minute. I just I'm just fresh off of the uh off of a, a tainted lost episode, which I don't know if it'll be out before or after this, so I'm not gonna spoil it, but obviously I'm very high strung at the moment because of that. That is a stressful character to play, so. Oh dude, yes, I'm so glad I explored the rest of this floor. We do actually have this hammer here. Nah, unfortunately, it's not that great for us. There, there is a, a a horse pill there, but like a horse pill, um, what's it called? Uh, the one that hurts you could be really terrible right now because it takes two hearts off of us. Okay, good. Okay, not a bad first floor. I think I will take Taurus now that I have some soul hearts to prevent things. I mean, I think it's going to be a bit rough to start with being on 0 0.7 speed, but basically as long as we can get like one or two speed ups here or there, I don't think it'll be that bad for long. So, and and Taurus is one of those items as well where it's kind of like, it does, it does get better later on. I'm not going to use my book on this guy just because I think we could end up getting a much worse boss later on. I'd rather save it for said much worse boss. Yeah, the next boss could be, end up being really bad. With the, I think Taurus will actually activate in this fight. The other thing that's a little awkward about Taurus is just like your speed changing during rooms is, is weird. Binky's lovely. 
and I was happy to do this because uh, this guy, although it's not hard, having extra damage just absolutely blasts him down, so happy to uh, have saved it for this guy. Lovely stuff. Speed up, there you go. Um, this speed up can exceed the speed cap. Oh, kind of interesting. Uh, we won't go devil deal here. Um, and we'll just carry on going down. Okay. So we are out of the thick of it now with this character. We are out of the, 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 the difficult portion. Because no longer can we be one shot. And we've actually got okay HP coming into this floor. Even better now. Even better now. But yeah, getting getting a speed up there was pretty valuable. It just makes our life a lot easier in terms of just having speed, but then it also means Taurus can activate a bit earlier. I don't know why these guys are turning purple. Is that new? Oh, wait, no, that's the charm effect from our high tops, isn't it? I think. Right, we'll pop this in here because it's a bit of a, a large room that I'd rather be over quicker. They're staying near enemies will charm them. I just want to test out that theory. Okay, it takes a little while. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, no. I thought it charmed them in the way that they'd, like, t like go to the next room with us. I was like, that's kind of incredible. But I suppose on certain rooms, it's still going to be good. Don't like this situation, <laughs> having these two here. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think the high tops charm will end up being that useful. But it's nice to have it there, I guess. It's definitely not a bad thing. Uh, we will pop these, I think, all three of them. That's the second book, at least. That was very bad of me. I just had to charm those guys. Oh, dude, stop trying to charm them. It's getting me hit. That was two very, very unnecessary hits there. Okay. Well, health is still fine. We lost one soul heart. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. Yeah, don't try and utilize the charm feature, to be honest. Just if it happens, it happens, but don't focus on it. Because it takes a while for it to charge up. And the fact that we only last for one room is not super useful. If they lasted multi-room, I'd say it's very worth, but obviously they don't. This guy, though, can get him. Do you know what would be really good with this setup? Dad's ring. Imagine that. Ooh, electric dice is very, very nice. Imagine Dad's ring. So you could, like, get an enemy really close to freeze it. And then just hold it really close to you. Do not like the look of this room at all. Literally every single enemy is drug tripped as well, which I'm not a fan of. There's so many mushroom enemies in here as well. This is kind of ludicrous. I was going to pop my active, but the boss is right there. Cool. I will activate random horse pills here. Shot speed down is not awful. Mini mush is good stuff. Oh, dude, we are tiny. <laughs> we are a minuscule baby boy. Should have gone for the boss first, really, there. Maybe the aura for the charm in, is, is based on our size. Let's go do the boss. We do have electric dice now, so our active has a chance to activate multiple times, which means uh, we can get even more damage out of it, because this book does have stacking effects. That's rather nice. I don't know how much damage it normally gives us, but... I think going up to 10 damage is definitely more than one activation. That's rather nice there, lovely. And then Angel Deal is Rosary, which health-wise is good stuff. Fire Rate is good as well. I would like to see if I can get some more bombs out of this floor to pop that other mushroom, but wouldn't rely on it. Ooh, very, very nice. Very good item. A lot of safety built into this bad boy. Killing enemies gives us extra herming wisps that block shots. I think it's a really, really good one. There is one more room over here, and there is also a shop that I didn't particularly look into um, in terms of bombs and such. I'll go and check it out. There's a bomb in there. I'll buy it. There is a bomb. 
and we'll try see if that other room over there can give us a bomb. Because if we can get one more, we can blow up the big mushroom and I think that's going to be valuable to us. Unlikely. Unlikely, but we might as well try. I'm going to say, because now that we've already got mini mush, I think it can duplicate the same item, so we could get another mini mush, but we could also end up getting magic mush. Oh, ho, 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 my lord, yes. Okay. As as per, the streak is very generous to me. I mean, I, I, it's hard to tell. Am I just min-maxing more and that's helping? Or is this game just being very generous to me? I think it is in part that it is being very generous to me. Friends till, till the end. end. Vert. Drop your currently held uh, active item down as a pedestal. No, thank you. Oh, double balls of steel. Hey, we got another mini mush. We are the smallest boy ever. And it also, now our speed is in a great spot for Taurus. I think 1.5 is almost exactly where you want it to be because it means it doesn't activate the moment you walk in the room, but it activates fairly soon afterwards. It gives you a chance to clear the room normally, but then on bosses it activates pretty quick. I think 1.5 is basically where you want to stay. The only the only reason I take uh, more speed now is if it's attached to another like good effects. But if it's just a speed upgrade or it's a speed plus range or something, then I'm not asked. Oh, dude, with the wisps as well. This is a very good combo because the wisps gain invincibility when we do. You can see like most rooms we're going to clear before Taurus goes off. It's only sort of more pesky rooms. Oh, I do like I saw. It's only more pesky rooms that are going to uh, activate it and boss fights, by which hopefully most of those rooms will gain some Nightshade Wisps and be able to do some real good damage. Unfortunately, rooms like this are always going to activate it as well when the enemies decide to fly. And we do, for every enemy we kill with Taurus, we get another Wisp too, so this is top tier, this. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I shall accept it. Cracker Jacks for a trinket that we don't have yet. Lovely. Slot machines have 75% chance of not exploding when bombed. That's pretty nice. Not that we have any bombs right now to work out with anyways. But yeah, I do like the fact that those mushrooms can give, uh, can give you extra uh, items of the same type, like two of the same item. I still, I, I do think they're a li little bit strong. I maybe think they should be tweaked to be five bombs rather than four to blow them up. Because I think the items that you get out of most of their pools are pretty good. And I'm, I wouldn't say they're common, but you do see one every maybe two to three runs. And sometimes you see more than one on a run. Um, like rooms like that where there's multiple in one room. Maybe, maybe those shouldn't exist. Because it's, it's kind of one of those situations where the strong get stronger, like, it's never going to help you on a weak run, but if you already have a ton of bombs, it's going to be super useful. Oh, it's about to go. Lovely stuff. Seen our item room here, we don't really need to go any further. Did find an extra tinted rock here, though, like that. Wisp protectors there as well. Small rock. Does lower our speed a little bit, but I think it's worth it, obviously. Fire rate's looking very juicy as well. Wonder when the Bible will show up. More HP. I'll take one more red heart. I think I'll leave it at that, but one more's decent. Oh, yeah, the streak is just going fantastically at the moment. The game is really just... Giving me everything I need to succeed. And I like that a lot on a streak. I mean, I don't want the streak runs to be super, super easy every time. But that's the thing about a streak. Like, we're playing it. And we're still taking risks. And we're still sort of having up and downs. But there is going to come a time, probably quite soon, where we roll a character that's quite difficult. Or we start a run that ends up not being too friendly. So, there's, there's, there's so many chances. I mean, this was our first struggle character. Just because literally the first floor before you get a soul heart is scary. It's so easy to die to just a single bad hit or a single bad room. Um, but it's really going to be if we get like 
I, I mean, I, I have I have like tainted Jacob and um, the Lost in the pool of, of characters to randomize, but they are at a lower chance just because those characters are like a lot harder. But they're gonna come up at some point. It's not entirely impossible. They will show up eventually. But for now, I'm enjoying uh, having these breeze along runs. The game is just gifting us these wins. I wouldn't say giving us the win. It's giving us the opportunity to win. There's still things we have to do to make sure it happens. It's only Necro or one, so I'll go for this. The blur. I love it when you actually come into the, the, the stage underneath there. Sorry, above the blur. Lovely. Unfortunately, range and luck isn't all that important to us, but thank you. I've always found it weird how Dad's lost coin, like... How it's a, a luck penny rather than luck up. Because it doesn't really make any difference unless you mean you've got like a Yera or something. I guess it's just thematic for the item's name, but other than that, it's just nothing really. Right. I am liking our teeny tiny self as well. <laughs> we got three different items, two of which are the same one that make us very, very tiny. Careful. But yeah, you can see now now that we're at uh now that we're at 1.3 speed, it's a lot harder to activate. So I think 1.5 is exactly the the right margin for speed with Taurus. It's exactly where you want to be to activate it in some rooms, but not every room. Whereas this, it barely activates in rooms. Hello, flies. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. We'll leave this floor. Oh, when did we get polished burn? Did I acknowledge when I picked up polished burn? Did we have polished burn originally? No, we had the we had that clover item. But I think it was bugged and the ID was wrong, so it changed into Polished Burn. I've only just realised. I don't know how I've only just realised that. Where the hell's my mouse? There you go. I've got a notification. That's just someone joining my Discord. Welcome, welcome to a new person to the Discord. Hi, hello. Sadly, no spin down in there. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty good setup here. Ooh, free black heart is, is always lovely. I suppose there's only a single enemy in the room and there are high HP enemy. We could just use the high tops to charm them. I kind of like the idea of that as well. Like, your high tops are like getting close to someone and showing them your cool shoes so that they like you more. <laughs> Ow. Like that bad boy. Ah, I miss, I miss, I had Mum's key in the last run and oh, Mum's key is just so good. Refill that black heart. Oh, grab it. There you go. I like these floors where it's like all in one direction for a, a good portion of the floor. Trying to use my high tops on that guy there. It worked out. Ooh, we got one of these. Little ferrymans. Um... I could go for the ferryman, to be honest. Yeah, I'll do it. I got I got a good amount of money here. I still think these guys are a bit too strong, but I'll, I'll use it if it's here. Oh, shit. I wasn't actually in the boat. <laughs> I was just kind of stood next to it. Yeah, you can get a lot of consumables out of this and potentially an angel item as well, so it's, it's pretty worthwhile. Oh, you bastards. Okay, so now now it's worthless. Now, now I can just do these runes to get consumables, potentially, and nothing else. So many of these bad boys. What, 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 what enemy was left there? Also, Golden Trinket Plus has just caused so many errors. What you got for us? Soul Heart, lovely. Uh, 
That makes that a little easier. <laughs> There's so many of these guys in these rooms, what the hell? My god, chill out, spawners. So sadly, we were only one ghost off. It is what it is, the... Oh well, we got some stuff out of it. Probably wasn't quite worth what we paid for it, I don't think, this time around, but most of the time it is. Grab that little boy here. We've got this high priestess here. Again, I'm not taking stem cells at this point. Actually, no, no, no. I will take stem cells just for the shot speed. Because our shot speed is pretty low um, after that big pill. Um, but realistically, I don't really want any more red health. And I'd be actually fine to take some devil deals at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the angel track, but it's a 50-50 right now. So if I get a devil deal, I will, I will go in and grab something considering my red health is... Uh, Reaching high, quite high levels. I'll check this out just in case. Mm. Spindle's kind of good. I'd probably take Spindle if I got the money for it. I don't think we're going to quite get them that money in time. These rooms feel so much better now. I've got this Grimace mod that makes them look more unique. Those rooms just feel way better. Because it feels like the Grimaces are actual enemies with personality rather than just like static stern things. Right, it's got to be the boss. My god, it's not the boss still. Lots of spider generating enemies over here. Oh, dude, that guy's still alive. What the hell? Also, can we just talk about how good polished burn is, man? We got three bomb burnies so far. And, like, not just for the, like, the, the power that they have in terms of throwing burns, but they explode on enemies too. It's, like, crazy good. I don't know what's going on with the rest of this room, by the way. This guy's out here just, like, shitting on all the shit. Well, I think we've just, I think we've literally just got to wait him out. It's kind of annoying. I don't think there's any way we can kill him without spectral. Look look at that, look how many of there is. There's like five of them. There's three and there's a few underneath each other. Are right, you gonna go, buddy? Good, good. Waste the my goddamn time. <laughs> you, you fucked up there, Mum. She just stood on all of them and blew herself up. That is perfect. I love that. We will take Devil Deal here. As I said, what time are we on? 18. We've got time to check this out. What the fuck is that? Um, Grants a chain. Oh, this is actually real good. I remember this being very good before. Uh, so I will take that. Especially with the two black hearts here. I'll take a little Delirium as well. Why not? He can be, uh, can be somewhat useful. I'm just going to check in here for anything crazy good. Nah. Wait. Oh, whoa. Did this item break? Hold up. So, this item is meant to be three coffins that follow me and can block shots and, like, break into certain stuff. But there's a lot more than three right now. And I think they're duplicating every single room. <laughs> They definitely wasn't broken the last time I had it, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but there's certainly more than three now. Um, I will take the disc. Unfortunately, I think they can only break open via being shot at. But I feel like we're, we're fairly heavily protected with whatever's going on with these bad boys. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't deal contact damage, because if they did, we'd be in a great spot. Ow. I don't even know what happened there. I think that was the little delirium. Tend to a bomb fly. We have a trinket back in that room. Go check what, out what that is. Oh my god. All damage um, dealt and received is doubled. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Do you know what? With with this with this craziness going on with all these coffins, it might not be a bad idea to uh, to take that. I just don't think we're going to be taking that much damage, to be honest. <laughs> I've got a I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling that we're not going to be taking that much damage. A 
lovely. I like the way that you're taking this item makes you into the fucking crimson chin. Like, look at my sprite model when I'm walking left. Look at that. <laughs> I hope then we're heading right way to the boss here. Yes, we are. Good, good. So yeah, these are supposed to break open at some point, but there definitely isn't supposed to be this many of them. This is definitely a bug. 100% <laughs> a bug. Okay, there you go. Some of them are breaking open now, look. Beautiful stuff. I like that. Grab that and away we go. Yeah, I don't think we can really die to projectiles at this point. We've got this little bugged army here that... I don't know if it's still growing in size, the amount of them, but I think it is. Like I said, if they don't, if they don't contact damage, I think, I think it's an Ipecac, maybe? There's a there's a trinket that... Um, it might not be Ipecac, but it's one of the mods that I no longer have enabled. There's a, a trinket that makes all familiars deal contact damage. Imagine. Imagine that with this. <laughs> This is hilarious. Oh no, one my, one of them broke. What are we ever going to do? Yeah, look, we got a little Bernie. Chilling. Oh, a few more of them have cracked open. <laughs> Literally unhittable by projectiles right now. I kind of forgot we had Taurus as well. Taurus is still in the mix. Dude, look, this is what I mean by these rocks. Like, there's another giant prop right there. I I, I do have the Fiend Folio extension of the mod on. Um, the Fiend Folio giant props. So there's, there's more rooms with them in. That have, like, Fiend Folio enemies in them too. But at the same time, my god, sometimes they can be a bit common. Like I said, I think it'd be worth upping them to five bombs to destroy just to make them slightly more balanced. Where are we going? That was close. Almost got hit there. Eight damage off the back of that. Lovely. How dare he throw up on me. I've got to be careful though, because these guys kind of just run into this swarm and take no damage from the coffins and get to me and deal double damage to me. So, got to be wary of that at least. Especially like spiders and shit, goddamn. And creep as well. It's all sorts of things that can still hit me easily. Lovely. Brimstony boys. Oh, Taurus. I was like, what the hell's going on? It's just Taurus. Unfortunately, I can't really see what I'm doing, so I don't know when Taurus is about to end or anything. <laughs> None of them are broke yet in this fight, how? They're all just like trembling with fear, look. <laughs> oh man. will hatch into fire and burnies and all sorts of various prizes. I will take birth. Based on the fact that I think I might be unkillable. To most things. And it does seem to be adding three pretty much every room. I, the Occult Press Prank Cookie, is a good addition. Also, when they break into fires, the fires block shots too. It's like... It's crazy. I did take damage there, apparently. I, I genuinely have no idea what to, though. Unfortunately, there is quite a lot of things that are going to damage me. Simply because I can't fucking see.
Like, is this room over? What's going on? This must be a ghost left, right? There you go. If I take another hit, I am going to have to drop this trinket. Really? Right, gotta itch my ear real quick. Oh my god. Yeah, I do definitely like having double damage at the moment, though. Some of these enemies are confusing. No, this is a horrible, horrible, horrible room. God damn, it was an awful room. Drop us some HP if you'd like to, game. That'd be lovely. Shots not even getting to us at the minute. What's going on with this room? Oh god, there's a baby army over here. Where the hell's the boss at? Goddamn. I've been travelling for ages. I like uh, having Prank Cookie as well for some effects. I say, what do you do? Okay. Oh, Eternal Heart. I'll definitely take that before the boss. That would be splendid. Oh, it changed to one of these hearts instead, of which I can't seem to pick up. There you go. That's actually preferable, I think. Those hearts are really good. I think that means I no longer take double damage, because that heart can only ever take half a heart of damage at the maximum, I think. Gotta be careful for the light beams. They can still hit me perfectly fine. The only thing is, I don't really know where I'm positioned most of the time here. Slightly the mercy of the game in that regard. Shit. I, I really don't know where to stand here. Yeah, I got hit there. Didn't only take half a heart of damage, as I said, though. I just... I can't figure out where to stand because there's so many fucking coffins in the way, man. Lovely. We got it. We got it. We heal that heart up. Right. On to the last floor. Oh my god. This is weird. It's, it's stressful because I can't see, but also I am near invincible from a lot of stuff. Pentacles first. Unfortunately, this is not an easy room to fight this guy in. But our damage is good enough. We don't have great luck, so don't expect a lot of chests. <laughs> I wonder how many coffins we have right now. Unfortunately, we can't bomb our way out of this room either. Don't know what this guy's doing. I don't even know where he is, actually. Okay, here he is. Oh, Taurus is activated. Is he still there? I genuinely don't know. Okay, he is. I can't really do anything with Taurus right now, unfortunately. Honestly, the coffins have kind of taken over this run. <laughs> Man. Bosses just chilling underground. At least we've got our active items to keep our damage going when we need to. And honestly, these... um. These portals, what are they called? The Oculus Rifts? Doing a great job of just managing enemies. Keeping them... Oh, I'm the wrong way. Keeping them behind closed doors. We are dealing a ton of damage as well. Ah, I got hit there. It's okay though. As long as we don't get hit again in this room, we regain our heart. Careful of the creep, that can still hit us easily. Same with this guy jumping on us. It does, the mass of, uh, the mass of coffins does seem to be getting larger. 
And then we are still definitely gaining them. Ooh, I don't like this room. But to be fair, actually, that ocular rift really helped us out there. It pulled him in front of the invincible enemy. Steven, hello. Fine, we can kill the frog boys. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this streak at the moment. Even if we're getting some runs like this. I mean, that's the, that's always going to be the nature of modded. You're going to get some stuff that's just absolutely broken due to uh, due to it being a modded run. It happens on occasion. It's not super, super common, but it does happen. Bad hit by me there. Just kind of walked into that guy. We, we always heal that, up, uh, that heart up though, so it's not that bad. Room. Oh, okay, as I said, why aren't you over? Got a bunch of these guys coming in. Kind of having four of these is pretty tricky. It's a lot of enemies to spawn. Taurus is here to save us, though. <laughs> I love the speed boost with Taurus, because it lets us to go to 2.2 look with high tops. And you just zoom around at lightning speed. I'm surprised more of the, um... Of the coffins aren't breaking. They must not persist. Like They must heal at the end of every room and have to be re-damaged or something. Because I would have expected a lot of them to be breaking. But that, that only makes sense if um, the, the damage that they gain is taken into the next room and continued on. Ooh. Don't know what, like how or why this opened, but there you go. Come on, boss. Here we go. Lovely. Furic acid is causing us problems. Right. Boss time. Plus nine extra damage. Very nice. Don't know how this is going to go. This guy does have attacks that can hit me directly. He does have a lot of projectiles, though, which we'll obviously be pretty safe from. Of course, the, the uh, coffins will eventually break, but I think we've got so many that we're unlikely to lose any real coverage from it. Wow, we've gotten through that phase just by Taurusing. It's kind of nice. This guy does, does have this light beam attack, which will obviously go straight through. But I'm really small, so it's actually pretty easy to avoid these light beams. I said that and immediately got hit by one. Anyways, we got through it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Pretty crazy run there. Pretty weird. I don't know what's going on with that item, but I hope you figure it out. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.